H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Today we are discussing about uh, transactions. So here a transaction means it's a time gap between uh, uh, sending the request and getting the response. Okay, uh, like here uh, as part of transaction, we are going to measure the time between time gap between uh, sending the request and getting the response. So it can be done in two ways: uh, during the recording and after the recording. Okay, so during the recording uh, is preferable. It means while recording the script, uh, we can uh, insert the transaction. So here, uh, when, we are, when we are dealing with the transactions, basically there will be something called LR underscore star transaction and uh, where they are going to mention some uh, transaction name and we will be having something called LR underscore N underscore transaction where we will be mentioning something called transaction name and status. We will discuss more on the status and however, uh, this is a, again um, uh, one of the recommendation, one of the mandatory steps that you have to follow is within start and end transactions, make sure that you should not have any pin time because that will affect your uh, transaction time, okay? And moreover here, the, the other uh, best practice that we understood here is uh, try to uh, prefix, prefix the uh, transaction names using uh, some number so that uh, so that it will be easy easy to sort in the controller it is the best practice it is not a mandatory rule okay now here uh, we were recording a script so here uh, we were recorded uh, one transaction with there it is now we have a transaction called uh, uh, cell and if we have any pin time between um, a start transmission and end transmission. In the other case, we have like this. Okay. So after the start transmission, uh, we had this pin time. So we should not maintain uh, any pin time between start and end transmission. So that's the reason we are going to remove these things. Okay. Now here again, uh, just see if we have any pin uh, times in between. Of course, basically here in the think time, uh, you can just search for LR underscore think time, but as of now I'm just manually uh, searching over here. Okay, fine. And here, uh, this is the place where this particular transaction is getting in. LR underscore N transaction, name of the transaction, and there is LR underscore out of here. Now we will try to understand the uh, status, uh, the different status that we have for the transactions. There is something called LR underscore auto and apart from this there is something called LR underscore pass, LR underscore fail here. It means when you say LR underscore auto here, for example, if you mention LR underscore auto like this, by default it is going to be recorded here by using LR underscore auto. It means uh, no, in between this LR underscore start transaction, LR underscore end transaction. Here somewhere it has been started with LR underscore uh, uh, start transaction, right? If I move up in a document here, now see here there is the LR underscore start transaction 0 to 7. So from this 381 line, here from this 381 line here, okay, till the uh, 
to this point from this 516 line we have the same translation uh, in 381 line basically this translation is getting started in this 516 line this translation is getting ended in between these these lines from 381 to 560 516 line if load runner encounters any issue okay if long uh, load runner finds any issue automatically this transaction will be marked as a fail okay here lr underscore auto means automatically that particular transaction will be marked as a fail if load runner encounters any any issue between start to end okay or say if you want to exclusively mention something like you know uh, a pass or fail what you can do here you can mention uh, by using some reference first of all let me come to this LR underscore uh, auto means if load under encounters any issue between start and end of a transaction it will be marked as a failed transaction otherwise Fast transaction, okay. Fast transaction. Now, now there will be some cases we may need to mention LR underscore pass fail, okay. Uh, in general, uh, most of the organizations follow this particular procedure, okay. If they want to know whether a particular transaction is pass or fail, generally most of the organizations use this particular LR underscore auto, and there will be some organizations may use LR underscore pass and LR underscore fail here. If you remember in our last session, there was a kind of a kind of brainstorm session we had like uh, URL mode recording, HTML mode recording. Even you know we ourselves were discussing like uh, you know it seems one of our uh, friends' mission, uh, friends' organization they are using the HTML mode recording. But in my you uh, know one of my previous organization, they we were using the URL mode recording. Again, it depends. Here you know in my one of my one of, one of the organization, they uses this LR underscore auto. And the other organizations are using LR underscore pass on LR, LR underscore fail. It depends. It depends on the team. It depends on the organization. Okay. In general, most of the organizations uses uh, LR underscore auto because uh, uh, we don't need to bother about many things. Just automatically, if load runner encounters any issue, it is automatically marking it as a fail. Otherwise, it is marking as a pass. But however, you know, to be uh, to be in safe side and to be uh, have a robust escape. Probably we may use LR underscore pass and LR underscore fail by making use of a reference. By making by making use of a reference, we can decide pass or fail. What is what is what is meaning by this? I mean, what is the meaning of this? How can I decide pass or how can I decide a fail? Here, here I can decide pass or fail by making uh, use of a reference. What is meant by reference over here? Here I mean, say here, just observe this. Say here, if I want to know this daily deals, whether this particular daily deals is pass or fail. If I want to know whether this particular daily deals uh, transaction is got uh, passed or fail, how can I know? Say so once I click on this daily deals, here what I'm saying is, what I'm saying here, if load runner encounters any issue, I can say it is being failed. If I don't want to use this LR underscore auto, in that case, how can I conclude? How can I conclude? How can I conclude? We reach the exact page. I mean, how can I conclude this particular transaction is passed? I can conclude that I know this particular transaction is got passed if we reach the exact page. I mean, after we click on this daily deals, if you if you reach to, if you reach this particular page, what we can do here? We can conclude that yes, you reach the you reach the appropriate page over here. Right. If you reach this page, we can conclude that it is a pass. Right. If you reach this particular page, we can conclude you reached. Uh, you can conclude that you uh, 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 we reached our uh, correct page. Okay. So for this, there will be a load runner function. Okay. I will let you know about that. So it means in simple words, try to understand the uh, functionality first. Try to understand the things here. Okay. In other words, like LR underscore auto works like this. Once you click on daily deals. If it does not encounter any issue, it concludes that yes, it reached uh, no the particular transaction is passed. Okay, if it encounters any issue, it will conclude that it is fail. In uh, other ways, in other in other uh, way of measuring this, if once you click on daily deals, if it reaches this daily daily deals page, we can conclude that this particular transaction is passed. 
Okay, if we don't reach, reach this particular point, we can conclude that this particular transaction is not passed. Okay, and in a similar way here, cell also. Once you click on cell, once you click on cell, here uh, no, uh, we should be able to conclude. Uh, no, uh, if we reach this particular sign in page, we can conclude that yes, this cell transaction is got passed. So if other than the sign in page, if it shows something else, we may conclude it as a fail. So how can we how can I conclude whether we reach the sign in page, and how can I conclude whether we reach the validation page here? Okay, our next topic will be that. Our next topic will be like now how can we conclude whether we reach a particular page? Uh, generally, we call it as a validation over here. I think you know here it has been listed in the syllabus over here. Yep, see here there is something called verifications. I hope everyone is able to understand the concept at least. We'll be discussing the practical things as part of verification over here. First of all, did you understand the uh, need of verification over here? And as I said earlier, it depends on our nation. They may use this particular concept by making use of this verification. Generally, they will conclude a transaction is got passed or failed. Okay. Once you click on daily deals, if you uh, if you reach this daily deals page, we can conclude that this particular transaction is passed. Otherwise, we can conclude that this particular transaction is failed. In a similar way. For cell, once you click on cell, basically we are navigating to the sign-in page. If we are na navigating to the sign-in page, we can conclude that uh, a cell is uh, passed. Otherwise, we can conclude it is a fail. Okay, that can be achieved using by something called verification. We'll come back to this verification here. First of all, we'll complete this transaction. Probably after completion of this transaction, we'll come back to this verification then. Okay. First of all, we'll complete the, all the all the all the things which are related to transaction here. So here we understood the status, and we also understood these particular things, like you know the best practice and all. Generally here, let me also list down here in the uh, transactions. Okay, now here. Uh, We'll do one thing. We'll try to uh, run this particular script. Well, let me save this. And let me try to replay this particular script. And actually, we have been trying to insert the transactions during the recording. Okay. And then we'll try to uh, understand this uh, same concept uh, after recording. We'll probably probably will take uh, the whole script. I mean, probably will take the uh, previous uh, I mean, last weekend's. Uh, Uh, script and we'll try to update some transactions here. Again, even to insert the transaction, uh, no, it is the great refer uh, reference will be uh, comments. Without having comments, again, it will be very hard to uh, measure the transactions. I mean, uh, it, it will be very hard to insert the transactions. Here from here we have uh, oh I think uh, still we are in B zero underscore net okay it's okay so <coughs> yeah, just to to open the EV application it took uh, you know this many requests it has been recorded around eight hundred lines.
now sir it is actually starting with this uh, uh, actions class uh, actions uh, i mean action uh, how it started with action and this is the place where we have actually recorded this one uh, clicking on daily deals and uh, clicking on this cell Yep, Agni, since you are asking a question, right? Just observe here. It is being, you know, continuing, and at the place at the, at the place of end, it is taking some time. Can you, Agni, can you close the other guy? At the place of end, it is basically taking some time. I mean, between start and end, basically, I mean, bit, uh, between the web underscore start, web under. Okay, it's now it's been stopping. Basically, if you close the other here, basically at the place of web underscore conquer and end, it is taking some time over there. Okay. Now oh, it is basically it is expected to fail. Okay, that is great. Uh, however, here you know we can find the transaction response time here. Let's try to open this test results over here. There is something called test results. Or even you can go to this weekly log. Now, can you all agree that there is something called it is showing this daily deals ended with pass? Can you all agree that it is showing some daily deals? It is showing something called daily deals ended with a pass status, and this is the duration of this particular uh, daily deals. It seems it took around 30 seconds to open the daily deals. I mean, it, it took around 30 seconds to load the complete page. Okay, say if you would have record with HTML mode of recording, probably it would have record it would have record less time. But here, why it is recorded 30 seconds? It seems to load the particular daily deals page. It seems it took complete time. Uh, I mean, to load the complete page, it seems it took around 30 seconds here. Okay. Now here, there is a you no know, sell is started. If you close the here, this particular transaction is started, but it somehow it is gone. It 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 got failed here. If you look at here, it got failed. That's because of some issue. It's called as uh, correlation. We'll be discussing in our uh, no in our class. I mean, in the coming classes, probably in tomorrow we'll be start with this correlation. Okay, a topic uh, there is a topic called as correlation. We'll be discussing in tomorrow session. Okay, however, as of now you can just see this particular transaction and it is showing the transaction time over here. And uh, uh, what is this time? I mean, how many for how many users this particular time is showing? For how many users it has been showing this particular time? Of course, here as of now you can say only one user, but in actual because we are actually working on eBay application. There might be you know, any real users, but as of now, this script is showing uh, uh, time with respect to only one user here. Okay. Now, however, we'll try to open the uh, previous uh, last weekend's uh, script, and we'll try to insert the transactions after recording. If you remember, I said we can insert the transactions before, uh, during the recording, and after recording also. Okay. And we understood that preferable thing is during recording is the preferable thing. However, now say. By some mistake, say you forget to uh, record the transactions. In that case, I uh, know probably you can use uh, uh, probably you can make use of this one. Okay, uh, uh, I mean make use of by making use of the comments. Uh, probably you can insert the transactions over here. Let us open the last week's uh, uh, script over here. Here I am opening something called uh, uh, eBay search uh, comments during recording. It's not showing nothing. What again? Okay, it's there in the Let's see here. I think it is now launching the application. Okay, I think it is being. It did not recorded uh, properly since on that day it was not recorded properly. Let me open the other script if you have. Yeah, remote. I'm not sure whether this Microsoft script is having some comments or not. Yeah, it's okay. We don't think. 
now here I will create a new script again okay now here again let me say that uh, uh, eBay transactions after recording it means you know after we click uh, after we record over here now let me click on record and recording options and here uh, make sure this uh, recording we have guessed and here by default we will try to record in this reason net and we will say start recording See, regular and agreeer. Probably now our application seems to be loaded, but if we closely look at this left to bottom corner, it is saying 78 items. Okay, it was showing some 78 items. Can you answer this? And Agni, you were asking one question, right? You now probably this would be the correct answer. Okay, basically here it is loading some items. Okay, so this loading item generally will be recorded as part of web underscore concurrent underscore start. Uh, between it is going to it is these loading items generally is going to be recorded as part of web underscore concurrent underscore start and web underscore concurrent underscore end between these two these uh, no items will be load uh, items will be recorded here as part of URL mode recording okay and it is going to record I mean each each image is be, is basically uh, recorded out here in our script so whenever again we wanted to interact with the server we need to have all these images right so basically what we'll say uh, it's like we are building an array. It's like uh, the web underscore concurrent underscore start, web underscore concurrent underscore end. Between whatever we have, basically by making use of them, we will be building an array. And uh, together we are sending at the concurrent concurrent end. That's the reason during the execution, if you closely observe at the at the end, web underscore concurrent underscore end, at that particular statement, uh, generally our statement is taking some time to continue with the next line. Why it is taking some time over there? Because it is it is been uh, you know added all the all the things which are between the start and end, and all those things we uh, are being sending together at the end. Okay, because if we close up there, it was showing some number of items, right? So all those items instead of sending uh, separate separate requests for all of them, it is sending a together. It is sending a request together for all the set of items. Okay, now however. Now let me go and let me select this action over here. I think still it is recording some set of things. Now let me go to action here. Now see here I am just mentioning the comment saying that clicking on uh, daily deals. Okay. Now see here let me click on this daily deals. And here, if you observe here, I did not mention the start transaction here. Okay, so because here, may I say I forget? Assume I forget uh, to insert the start transaction. Okay, so after recording also, you can mention the transaction, but it is not preferable. However, okay, now see here. Now I am going to mention. Clicking on sell. And again, you know, in real time, generally, I mean, of course, not in real time. Generally, it is not legal to work on these kind of real applications, but just for the class purpose and moreover, only one user. So that's the reason I'm recording. But generally, I know it is a, uh, it's not ethical and it's not legal. Okay, we should not use the uh, real applications. Okay, as it is a one user, I'm using. But I uh, know, try to be, uh, you know, cautious when you are working in real applications. Now let me stop the recording here.
different parameters we should be given. Okay. Now see here, you know, in this particular script over here, in this particular script here, it is, you know, where it has been reported the user in it. Okay. And then action. And here we have daily deals here. So again, uh, you know, we can keep this, uh, you know, say here, uh, uh, we did not have the transactions during the recording. So after recording also, you can mention the transactions like this here. You can mention LR underscore, start underscore, transaction. Okay. And here you can give the transaction name. Within double quotation, you have to give the uh, transaction name. Let me say here, uh, 0, 01 underscore, daily deals okay so whatever the name that you have given here whatever the name that you have given you have to give the same name uh, uh, at the end of the transition also and here each and every load runner statement i mean each and every statement here in um, uh, load runner is going to end with a semicolon over here okay each and every uh, statement in the region and set semicolon ok so here now see here if you have any think time just you know remove that think time and here again we, our script should have think time so before this start of the transaction just mention this think time over here Say, let me mention some time over here. And let me remove, let me move this back. Okay. Now just see, Here, say, I'm just, I'm going to end this particular transaction. You have to say LR underscore, end underscore, transaction. And here, you need to give the transaction in, 0 and daily digits, comma. Here, as I said, if you remember, I said LR underscore, auto, okay, is one thing. Or you have something called LR underscore pass and you have something called LR underscore fail but the, based on some condition we have to use a pass or fail we'll, we'll come back to that ok now here again here we are going to keep on uh, cell sorry uh, yes we are going to keep on this cell and let me keep this after this and again use appropriate think tank it may record uh, you know uh, during recording it may think sometimes but you uh, know just update it accordingly then another underscore star underscore transaction and here just mentioned zero to underscore so now again make sure if you have any thing time in between just remove them Now see here, finally I am going to save it alarm underscore and then underscore transaction and here I will be mentioning this transaction name comma alarm underscore auto over here. Okay, now we will try to execute this, this strip now. So it means, you know, now we have inserted the transactions after the recording based on the uh, comments here. But however, as I said, uh, you know, you have to uh, use uh, uh, transaction during the recording itself. It's saying some compilation issue. Uh, here there should be some compiler. Yes. 
here there is something called compile basically it compiles and it will let us know the problem where in which time it is it has so it is saying some uh, error here can you see the error was here no i have mentioned two double uh, uh, brackets you will uh, let me go to replay and let me say compile here now see it all the errors have been stored here okay the mistake was here i mentioned uh, two uh, left braces over here now let us try to replace this by just it Now here it is taking some time here. The uh, bundles uh, for concurrent end. It means uh, no, it has been uh, it has been like uh, build up an array from start to end. It has been build up an array, and at the concurrent end, it is sending all of them together at a time. and it is taking some time over here the bundle of the concurrent of the current excuse me now it is taking this much time it seems it is still trying to load this uh, ebay home page Now we are just starting with this daily deals. And if you look at here, I know uh, we have LR underscore think time of time. Why this script is not waiting for ten seconds? Why this script was not waiting for ten seconds?
now see her we appear if you go to this uh, replay log over here here uh, see it is talking about the uh, this cell it is talking about zero to on this cell and here with past status duration is 21 um, 21 seconds here around 21 seconds here and similarly you can go up and see here it is talking about some daily deals it is saying that it took around again 30 seconds over here okay so this is how we can uh, uh, measure the uh, response times and however this is just a virtual user scope the actual response time may vary uh, if you keep this uh, this particular script in controller and if you execute against with the load yes it has been passed okay yes i know actually this should, uh, it has to fail you know something is going wrong over here uh, looking that actually as per the correlation should fail fine now here we understood how uh, know how to insert transactions during recording and after recording okay now here the theorem where i was talking about something called verification here something called uh, verification here verification in a sense say here we clicked on daily deals page and how can i conclude whether we re we exactly reached the daily deals page or not and you clicked on sell how can i click uh, how can i know whether exactly it is reached the desired page or not so for that you have something called verification okay uh, first of all for this you have to understand the other concept here uh, i mean you have to understand the flow of the uh, this conversation here Yes, here let me say verifications. Here, you know, as I said earlier, I know mainly if you want to validate whether we reach the correct page or not. Okay. If you reach the correct page, means whatever the earlier uh, uh, operation that you have performed on the application, that is correct. It means the operation here is clicking on daily deals. If you reach the daily deals, the daily deals operation is correct. Okay. So here that can be achieved using something called verification. So here we have something called web underscore reg underscore find. We have some uh, uh, API function called as web underscore reg underscore find. By using this API function, we can validate. we can validate uh, whether a particular uh, um, page is been displayed or not for this first of all we will try to understand the conversation between client and server here say here uh, say from the client say from the client i have sent a request say here i am sent a request uh, saying that you know um, give me give me daily deals page by clicking on daily deals means it is nothing but we are saying that Uh, give me daily deals page okay now what server is going to do here once understand this re request server is going to do uh, a page server is going to give it is going to give a, a daily deals page okay so technically we call it as a response here so what we have to do here basically what of the script that we have it is it is full of request okay h2k emphasis provides world class online it training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide h2k emphasis how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes h2k emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at h2kemphasis.com